All right, welcome everybody to the Monday, February 27th, joint meeting of the Conway Select Board and the Conway Finance Committee. Um, call the meeting to order, and the first item on the agenda is the minutes of February 21st. At the moment, they look good. We do. Motion to approve minutes of February 21st. Second. All in favor? Aye. It is unanimous. Uh, warrants. We have three warrants, accounts payable in the amount of $25,149.31. Payroll in the amount of $119,605.23. And the payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $29,350.75. I just went through them. Yeah. <clears throat> I did have a question about one of the payroll warrant items, and I did get that answer to my satisfaction. And I am uh, ready to make a motion to approve those warrants. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It is unanimous. Aye. Meetings attended by select board members. Yes. Uh, I was at the Capitol Improvement Committee meeting earlier, uh, or last week. Let's see. <laughs> None for me. Uh, meetings every day. <laughs> Multiple meetings every day. Yeah, I think most of my have listed on when I blur of a meeting. Um, public comments, anybody? Finance, finance committee, we are waiting for your comments. I'm John will be here in three minutes and Lori going to work with the uh, my money's on Rihanna. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so until until then, we'll skip ahead to <clears throat> new business. Got a couple. Um, you want to talk about your? You want to talk about the new highway or the or or Lori's caucus? Well, Lori, we can do Lori's. She's here. Famous is here. I mean, Lori's. You ready, Lori? Oh, what are we? What are we? What are we talking about? And about the annual caucus warrant that you want us to sign. Oh yeah, just your standard warrant, same as every other election in caucus. Nothing. Nothing unexpected. Just everyone whose terms are up. And the date of the caucus is Thursday, March sixteenth at six p.m. Thursday. Yes, it is a Thursday, so it doesn't interfere with the Monday meetings. And so there's enough people at the end, should we need to call them over? Mm. <laughs> Strategic <laughs> thinking. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The, you should have, if you really wanted to make sure you would have coordinated that with the Bruins or the Celtics schedule. You would have done it on the 17th because there are definitely people at the end. Yeah, well, <laughs> they also wouldn't be willing to leave the game. <laughs> it, it's got to be a, day, a night where they're willing to leave the end. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so we have to. Um, we, I, I have a feeling we'll have enough people this year without much of a problem. So. <laughs> Oh. In fact, good. Um, so we need to make a motion to vote <clears throat> to sign the warrant. I move that we sign the annual caucus warrant on March 16th at 6 p.m. Uh, second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So sitting there at the table, I already signed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, thank you. Very welcome. Don't um, go anywhere. Don't go okay. anywhere. I, oh, I wasn't going to go anywhere. I was just going to mute. Um, if Veronique, that could just go into my mailbox and I'll take it from there. Awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> we might as well get the new business done with Ron. Ron, you want to talk about your new equipment operator laborer, Corey Skinner? Oh. Yeah, that was long. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, well, he, we hired him temporarily. He was really good. He originally applied for the permanent position, and then when I offered it, he only had an issue with him and then he was 
Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we put this. We printed them earlier, but temporarily. Yeah. yeah. Some upstairs. Oh, right, 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 right. I've met him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this would be nice because this would mean you'd actually finally, for the first time since I've been here, have all the positions filled. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just in time for a severe budget crunch. <laughs> yeah. Um, I make a motion to appoint Bruce Gibbons as our permanent highway equipment operator laborer. Second your motion. I would just say that the word permanent is unfortunate in that it's not permanent. It's not permanent. It well, it's opposed to temporary, which yeah. is what he was. So it should, so that would just be as a highway equipment operator laborer. The, the word permanent is not really that that implies a length of a contract or um, I think that's like, what it's listed in. in yeah, the, you should, yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't list that in like that. Either. Those are just positions. Permanent positions. All right. So we're on to. Um, if the finance committee wants to open their meeting. Sure. I make a motion to call the town of Conway Finance Committee together to the selection. Second. Mm -hmm. move. Just go by numerical order or you want to pick favorites? <laughs> the easiest ones are to start. The, easiest ones. <laughs> the easiest ones are just to stay at home and let someone else do this. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So, in theory, is the Assessors, the easiest and easier one. Every time I see a downward pointing arrow, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, downward pointing arrow. That's true. That's a good fish All right. Well, we have we have uh, we would come the administrative assessor, elected assessor. We can talk about to talk about. Department's budget. Yep. Um, there is one slight error under requested. There's a little calculation error that I don't think. If you have it on your hang on a second, we share computer E4, cell E4 should be 38953. E4? Oh, sorry. No, don't, don't, don't make it I4. I one right there. Look out right there. I had used the old per hour figure oh, from the okay. year before. So that should be 38,953. Okay, now we're all set to go. Um, we look at our budget in, in great detail. If you can see it on your computers, you look to the right and in the columns to the right, we have our detailed breakdown of various costs. And we go over them pretty pretty rigorously. Um, but beginning up on line one for stipends, we did look at ours. They had not changed in five years. So we are gently requesting an increase there of $300 from 4,800 to 5,100 per year. Uh, that's what the assessors, the members of the board of assessors receive in exchange for the time we put in attending our meetings, going out on new growth visits, going to any conferences or educational programs. So it's it's our stipend for that. What kind of conference was that? Oh, we go, so some, sometimes we get to the one at um, Holy Cross that is municipal finance. Oh, is it a conference? 
Yeah, yeah, no, in the uh, you know, go to conference, <laughs> and uh, they usually always do one on what's new in municipal law. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, down in oil. That's a great one, yeah, yeah. So we try and get to those, and occasionally there's one for the clerk or something like that. That, uh, they do, they try very hard to bring it out at least as far as, as 91, okay. yeah. Still kind of a hike for those up in Northwest Berkshire, but mm -hmm. but uh, it's appreciated by all, yeah. The next lines, the next um, administrative assessor line is essentially exactly the same as it was last year. And if you look to the right, you'll see what is the basis for that figure. Mm -hmm. This is my, my current mm -hmm. uh, salary is based on 24.97 an hour, for 30 hours a week, 52 weeks. Okay, next line down is our clerical, the assessor's floor board. And we looked at that pretty hard and uh, decided to change her hours to 10 hours a week. She is very efficient. And we think we can make that cut. What was it previously? Lee? It was 15. 15. Yeah. Uh, however, for site visits, we also are cutting that. I wouldn't be charging my part of site visits because I figure it's included already. <laughs> but these are cyclical site visits, not new growth. Um, we're supposed to be reviewing every property in the town once every eight or 10 years. And so this is to go out and do a portion of the town every year, looking at, at the house, at the card, uh, talking with the owners, viewing the interior when divided, this type of thing. And so that takes two, two people to go and do it, two assessors. Mm -hmm. And so this would be some recompense for the second person. And I calculated it out. Of, we'd be doing about 135. There are a total of 1140 improved properties in town. So we have to look at all the outbuildings too, mm -hmm. even if there's just a barn on it, you know. So that we're being, we're moving along pretty fast when we're doing those. We try and get 12 or 15 a day done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a heavy day. And then come back and process it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what that line is. Mm -hmm. Um if you can just shift that over a little bit to the show. Yeah, there we go. You see where I figured out the number of miles we had. How many improved properties? How many a year that we need to do for an eight-year cycle? Mm -hmm. um, so about 15 trips a year, about 20 miles each. So it's 300 miles specifically to the three year. Mm -hmm. So that's where we got that mileage figure. Mm -hmm. um, little farther to the right, we'll get into that one in a minute. So that's our mileage request, $302 there, 347. Map maintenance is um, a contracted service from CAI Cartographic Technologies up in uh, New Hampshire. We received the annual contract for next year at $2,100 plus an additional $20 per building changed or added. Okay. Yeah. And we would like to do 20 a year because I already have 16 on the list that need to be changed or added. So that's an average figure of 20 per year. Okay. Next down is our GIS website. The programming and the work, the engineering work that Cartographic does on it for us uh, and our contracts for the modules come up to 4,000 a year. Uh, excuse me. I made it too clear. Uh, plus the ESRI program, which is the, if you do, online mapping at all, you've heard of ESRI maps. They are the ones who do the base map under anything uh, for the whole nation. And we have to have a subscription to that and that's gone up to 440. Mm -hmm. So the figure to the left requested there should be 4440. There we go. Make that ready to mind. Well, the, the GIS and modules are 4,000 from 2,700. Yes, yes, we added three new, two new modules last year that are going to expand our capability. And over the next several years, we'll be uh, reducing the amount of work that they need to do for us. 
So it was S3, uh, and Andrew Ponderell, and Walter Mazin. Another monopolist flex on the muscle. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you know, they kept their rate at $400 for 10 or 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah it is. So we're not complaining too bad. Um, next line down is fees and plans. I love this line, $15. <laughs> we no longer have to pay for these. We only have to pay $1 each for the large paper surveys that come. And so our bill usually runs seven to ten dollars a year so we're allowing 50 um postage we calculated up and if you go up again uh Veronique, if you put up to the right oh you don't have the postage part okay uh we counted up the number of items that we have to mail for example example if you have land in chapter we end up sending you three items a year one the return to the notification that we received it, and three, the decision. So 200 times three, mm -hmm. plus another five liens, perhaps a new each year. Um, we have 40 pieces in our January mailing, which is for the um, utilities and three ABCs, the exempt purpose properties. Uh, abatements and personal exemptions usually end up being about 40. And there again, we send an acknowledgement and we send the return telling them the result of their action. So that's 80, totally 700 pieces of mail, plus another 100 as miscellaneous. So we calculated up a total of 800 pieces of mail. The rate is going up to, oh, the rate's going up to uh, 63 cents, I think, in September, October. So we put in for $524 mm -hmm. the next year. Dues and subscriptions, $350. We already have dues to the Massachusetts Assessors Association of 225. They sponsor some of these courses and some very good online webinars. And also the FCAA is the Franklin County Assessors Association. Um, they don't meet so often anymore, but they have very good networking amongst various towns. The International Association offers excellent courses as well, but I've been unable to see what their dues would be for the coming years. So right now there's $75 left over. Um, a lot of times just one of us signs up for that. Uh, under meetings tuition, we would like to take the international course, have, have Roxy take the international course for fundamental fundamentals of residential evaluation. It's equivalent to a 40 hour classroom course. And um, the next step in her professional education, I don't know what it'll be. The textbook is $50, or there is a week long course at UMass in August every year that's put on by the Department of Revenue. And either one would be very good if possible. So the 400 is a reasonable estimate for that. Office supplies, we have 1316. Uh, this week, a set of toners for the HP copier is $616 a set. We go through two a year now. And I put in for two boxes of envelopes for all of our various mailings. I have several already, so. Don't need to buy 800, thank goodness. But um, 1316 is, is the figure there. Equipment repair of 750 is stable. That includes the $535 a year for the uh, maintenance contract on the big copier in the office that we all share. Initially, the Board of Health had paid to purchase it, and we agreed that we would do the maintenance contract on it. It's used by a number of the smaller groups as well, but you know, very occasional light use by them. So we keep that going and it's been a workforce. Yeah. Valuation software is the program that actually calculates values from the data about a property that we input. Mm -hmm. um, the details of size, of, of condition, of, of number of baths, whatever. Tyler Valuations is the program. It's going to be $4,061. 
for fiscal 24, plus we have an additional $1,000 or just almost $1,000. Marshall and Swift valuation subscription. Marshall and Swift is the national um, costing program company. They obtain information from across the country, from builders, from contractors, from uh, lumber yards, from plumbers, from anyone in the building industry. And they put it together. They, it's for commercial and industrial as well as residential properties. It's a wonderful, magnificent catalog. Uh, there isn't a property in Conway that we can't do from that catalog. And they have adjustments that bring those figures into our region and to the current time. So we can use those to put into the tile evaluation program to better improve the locality of our valuations. So altogether, our proposed to decrease from last year, like that word decrease, <laughs> is a whopping 1.61%, but uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, questions? I have no, I have no questions. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Very detailed. Yes, thank you. Boy, have you any questions, comments, suggestions? I, I have none. Lee, Lee has done her, her uh, usual great job. Yeah, that's the way I find to think it through. Yes. Uh, that a curiosity. Yeah. The, the, the map maintenance, the twenty dollars additional charge for mm -hmm. a new or changed building. Uh, what does that include, like a updated owner? No, no, no. This is to add structures on the map. Okay. Uh, you know, the little blocks or the little shape of the oh, house so or yeah, whatever like that. New, yeah. So, okay. Right. So if there's a new new barn or house, right. we don't do little sheds. But if there's a barn or a house or a substantial building, or if one has had a substantial <laughs> addition put on it, we like to change it to try and keep it up to date. So, yeah. Are you kind of using drones instead of stuff? I think it's like... Mm -hmm. I think they are, yes, absolutely, in the eastern part of the state. Mm -hmm. Very much so. We use the uh, flyovers, mm -hmm. sure. On our mapping, we can get onto the latest, um, hmm, the state flyover, certainly. Mm -hmm. They're doing them very frequently now. It's great. And if you look, um, if you open up our mapping program, up in the right, there's what looks like a little crisscross, a little checkerboard. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Choose that. You'll see there are three pages of options of different types of maps that you can look at in Conway. It might be Topo, it might be an older map, whatever. And the last one is the um, Google the Google um, oh, I can't really think of it right now. It's the one I use most often. It's, it's uh, the most current. It's clear as a bell. No, it's uh, oh, at any rate, yeah, it's it's very clear. We can measure a building on that beautifully. I can zoom right down in, you know, and measure the length of the house, deduct a couple of feet for the eaves or whatever, and there it is, right there. How long is that map updated? That is now being updated pretty much as things go along on the fly. <laughs> yeah, our lady, uh, the Google is. Our maps are being updated annually now. We're mm -hmm. almost completely caught up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll go annually going forward. Yeah. Actually, one of the modules we, we got is so that we could do some of the updating ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't put the, the revaluation. No, that because... goes, that's our usual $5,000 yeah. request toward revaluation funds that goes in as an article because that's separate from our running budget. Lately each year actually technically has been a revaluation because we've had to change values overall in order to maintain market values. So that technically qualifies. And we now use our um, contracted uh, consultant every year to calculate out the proper values for the power company 
and uh, yeah, no human power for error source to check theirs. Um, we do the hydro plant every certification, which is now every five years, and he takes care of all of those for us. My question so Trans Canada sold their assets. They, yeah, they merged with another company. company. So will that mean anything more for us? No, 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 it's simply what's the capacity of that of that dam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a limited capacity, unfortunately, because of its age. It's over 100 years old. It was built in 1912. I think they finally changed out the turbines. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I first went in it, they made a significant investment, though, to do that. They did. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yeah. And when I first went in, they had huge electrical capacitors mm -hmm. that were as high as this room. Massive things. It was, and, but still, within something like, with under five seconds, they, from the time they opened the sluices, they could have power going out. It was just brilliant. And the water could be reused seven times coming down the river in the different, in the different plants. Yeah. So it's something of a treasure in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine heritage there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, now you always ask me about new growth. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought of that one yet, Alan. Had no, no, no. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we just got in today Eversource's return. They weren't quite as uh, lively as last year. Last year we had just over $4 million in new construction from them. This year we had 2.655 million. Now add to that our million or so in local new growth. And we're going to come up with just about sixty thousand dollars or so in new revenue. Not a lot, but it's our we get to keep it. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, um, that was one point nine percent or something, right? Mm -hmm. Was that one point nine percent new growth? I don't know what it is. I didn't have a chance. I only saw it this afternoon and looked up the figure. Our full and fair value of assets is kind of still roughly like two hundred sixty million. No, we were three hundred million. Oh, 300. Yes, for last year. Oh, okay. And so far, the sales in twenty two do not really indicate pushing values up any higher. Mm -hmm. I'd like to stabilize mm -hmm. and you know be ready to go down should that happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, when the values go down, the rates will probably have to go up, but values do go down when market value, when the market changes. If you look back to 2008, our taxable values dropped. Yeah, so we are obliged to follow the market in either direction. Yeah. And one thing I do see about the um, Eversource um, is, is was the mayor of Springfield's press conference when Springfield settled their lawsuit. Yeah. Um, and he phrased it as a victory that they got substantially more than what Eversource initially offered. And um, and they said Eversource has changed that the the who they are now, they they don't treat towns fairly, that they they lowball, they lowball everybody, and it's only those that have the gumption to sue. And stand up for what's right, whatever that are going to get treated fairly. I don't that, know if you thought about that. That's oh yes, that's an argument with several of our big uh, industrial property owners, Eversource, um, New England Power, of course. But uh, you get into Verizon and MCI, and they want the new construction and work under construction at the time of valuation to be valued differently than they do. I mean, than the state does. The state values them for us small towns because we don't have the, mm -hmm. you know, the means or the expertise, but we do have Roy to look over and he goes through the same formula that the state uses and verifies values for us. And he's working within the industry as well and knows it very well um, as he does solar, for example, that type of thing. So, He's going to be looking over those figures and we'll be verifying them. We've not had any um, abatement applications. We did last year for MenStar and that's going into a class action suit. They went out, they applied for abatement in every town just about. 
And so it's a class action suit at the state level. We'll see what happens. Verizon is also doing that again. Um, several years ago in 2018, they worked through the appellate tax board finally. They had um, disputed the values in all the towns. And in 2018, I believe we had to make modest refunds to them for about five years' work. It was a total of $15,000 in uh, taxes that we had to return to them based on the appellate tax board's decision there. They're now applying again for the years since then, but there hasn't been a, a settlement yet. So that would come out of our overlay. We keep enough in overlay to cover what we would reasonably expect it to be. Mm -hmm. And we still hope to be able to release about $30,000 from overlay reserve into an overlay surplus mm -hmm. for use at this town meeting. Mm -hmm. It can be used for any legal lawful purpose, mm -hmm. just like free cash is. Okay. Mm -hmm. The overlay, what is the goal from percentage of the work? What we have to do is um, when we do the recap, we look at what we had to start with, how much we allowed. For, for the, com the current year, add those two together, then deduct all the amounts that were abated or exempted, the personal exemptions, mm -hmm. and see what we have left. And we see what Jan has left for obligations, people who have unpaid taxes, because we have to cover that. But she is excellent at setting up payment plans with people, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful way to solve that gently mm -hmm. and has worked well. And she also uh, puts properties into tax title, which means we're recording a notice at the Registry of Deeds that this particular property is behind in its taxes. It cannot be sold without the settlement of those taxes. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that protects it. We no longer have to cover that in overlay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So we see yeah. mm -hmm. there we are. And then we like to see that we have a reasonable amount left over mm -hmm. in case of an extraordinary circumstance. So it's not a percentage. It's, kind of it's based on a fact again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. A reasonable and the reasonable expectations. Mm -hmm. I felt a little tight when going into this year, we were down to $5,700. Mm -hmm. And that felt yeah. lean to me. Mm -hmm. So we funded it uh, generously. And uh, I'd rather have funded it generously and be able to give that money right back. Mm -hmm. In terms of that thirty thousand dollars back to the yeah to us taxpayers. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's my house. My husband was like, "Don't clean the porch. Don't clean anything." I'm looking for the nattiest closet. We can go look at house work. I know. Yeah. Wasn't that the Beatles song? <laughs> the tax man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, right. There we go. I guess I'll let her sneak around here. Thank you all. Thanks, Thank Wade. Yep. Yeah. Let's get in touch if you have any further questions. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ron Sweet, and three of the hacks that you're wearing. Good night. Any particular order you wanted to go in? No, I'll leave that up to them. <laughs> Good and bad and the other thing. There's the whimpering, the crying, and the screaming. Which one's first? Building maintenance. There you go. Well, unfortunately. <laughs> Things have hit me pretty good with that with this current year. And one of them is on my grounds maintenance. My mowing for the town park, ball field, and the town commons and the buildings here. That one actually doubled 
from the year before, and I could I only got one quote. Everybody else said that they couldn't find enough help to really take on a project that big. Yeah. And it went from ten thousand dollars to twenty one or twenty thousand eight hundred. And I was kind of like in a hard place with that. So, is, is there a point in time when it doesn't make sense to subcontract it out? Just to... The problem is, that first off, I don't have the help to do that. Corey Skinner to the rescue? Uh, that, that's highlight. No. <laughs> I mean, ball field mowing that's done in a, during Little League season that's done twice a week. So that's like half a day for each time. It's a day project, minimum of a day project to do the ball field and the commons and the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, to lose that kind of help from my highway department, not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's um, not something that is, I mean, we're already, things are already happening in the highway department that we're going to be losing out on with help because we're going to have, to, we're having to do other, more things than we used to. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we just treat it, so. Because I know one of the, one of the most frequently commented subjects of all of the things that you do amongst the residents is, the mowing contract and the perception that we're paying people to mow dormant or dying grass. And when they, and, and it would be so much better if they don't, because all they do is pick up clouds of dust and dirt and, and, um, and, and they just speed but through it just to do it. And not every year. You, um, we have other years where it rains a lot and the grass grows so fast that I get complaints that it's not being mowed anymore. When you do a contract, you you have to spell out how you want it taken care of. And it, you're not gonna hire some, you're not gonna do a contract that says if it's dry, we're gonna not pay you for that time period. Um, it, otherwise the price is just gonna go up anyways to cover themselves so they they can plan their business. I know exactly what you're saying, and I, I mean, I'm already trying to, because on the other hand, we do take care of the cemeteries, and, but that used to come out of a, a trust fund. Well, last year, I got told that that trust fund is getting very low on money and that I need to start paying for that out of my budget. Well, that's sixty-eight hundred dollars a year to have the cemeteries taken care of. I am trying to work something out so that we can at least take care of that for the coming year. Um, just because everything's getting so expensive, somehow I have to make up without killing. Me. I mean, this budget is already up eighty-eight five from seventy-three five. And that's there's two things in there. The reason that's up, um, the grounds maintenance. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess that was it. Was so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, fifteen thousand on the ground. Sorry. But so even if I mean even if you were to do this yourself and not subcontract, if we even have the the right lawn equipment to. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we, when, we have some. Yeah, but not. But not not something that we we would, you know, have to do it every. Yeah. Every week, take care of it every week. I mean, I mean, we already went through this. I don't know what was it three or four years ago where the residents voted to, or there was an article for the highway department to take care of, and we came up with the numbers. And it was like 50 grand a year, well, 50 grand to get set off mm -hmm. with what we would need for equipment and a full time employee, basically. Um, not full time, but yeah. a, a part time employee. Mm -hmm. To get started, it was like 50 grand for that first year for the equipment and stuff. And so 
My biggest problem right now is help, trying to find help to do things. So I'm very happy that Corey's coming up. Need some municipal goats. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't think the kids would want to play ball. <laughs> Maybe the commons. <laughs> Maybe the town any, office and town hall. Yeah. Or you have any questions, comments, suggestions? I don't. I fully, uh, I fully understand what Ron is saying about the uh, the maintenance. Um, you know, the grounds maintenance. It's you can't. Uh, you're not going to get people on an as needed basis. There's no way. And. Um, it's really uh it's cra it's crazy look at these numbers um i don't know what to say <laughs> I, I worry about stuff like this when you when you because it's what this is like a 18 20 percent increase just on building maintenance that's well, big well what, that's well big. Uh, phil 15 of it is this grounds maintenance now if you yeah, could, yeah. i mean right all of it but right. um, well okay so uh, what do we do? That's just a big percentage. Can we a, uh, a big juicy some, target the town meeting? Somebody <laughs> want to set up a rent a goat kind of business and put some uh, livestock yeah. out there? Yes, just a comment from 2020. Right now is more than 100 percent. That's because um, things changed in the. Uh, um, as far as um, see. some of it came from the transfer station that yes, was incorporated last year, and the yeah. custodian being switched, the custodian yeah. salary item being switched yeah. from you got taken out, but yeah, um, but the transfer station um, utilities and stuff is now paid by um, ground um, building maintenance. Um, also, we the new highway garage we had to figure into the heat and um, electricity of that building. Um, that's some of the reasons why the numbers went up. Um, and there was a whole restructure, um, probably been like three years now, where the we used to have a um, janitorial person that worked part time that got taken out of here. And things got swapped around because that person now works comes out of the highway budget. Um, it's a shared position, basically. I I can make it uh, if we do take over the uh, cemeteries and stuff. I mean that we could probably take six grand off that. Um, maybe grounds maintenance. Um, lower that down. I'd be comfortable. I'd be comfortable with you know you, you know because I understand. I fully understand it's my tax dollars too, um, <laughs> and I fully understand exactly what you're saying. It's just that this year I'm working on. The budget and I'm having to deal with these issues in this year's budget. Things are not happening quite the way I was hoping because of major cuts. Um, next year, we're always a year behind. And, and when we get to my highway budget, uh, it's pretty clear what's um, where we are with things in that budget. But, um, Where's the line for the town hall bill design thing? I just see there's not oh, there. Yeah, that's just an extra. Um, so like I put down the bottom here. If when you look at the accountant when he sends all the uh each of the budgets with the detail, you'll see other accounts that are listed that are separate from the main budget. So that's money that was left over from I'm not know. sure with that. It's okay. something to do with a grant or something that okay. um, Tom had gotten for the design. 
I'm not sure what that means. So what I'm hoping is that we can eventually use that for the design of the shaft if we, you know, mm -hmm. going forward with it. Yeah, but that has nothing that, to do with that was a town meeting appropriation to do the design. Hmm. What's that? That was a town meeting appropriation to do the design really? you know, as a place to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that has nothing to do with my operating. Except it's, it's floating around on the same page. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I, I, well, I just want to make it clear that I can't use that towards anything. With my operating. No, I mean, you know, I've already heard people complaining about the mowing, the whatever, and just the the fact that the vendor lives in town and. Yeah, you can then people like those guys are just buying new trucks and new equipment every year and they're taking it out on the day that the town that's paying for it. Uh, that's what you're going to hear. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, when he was the only one that could give me a price, yeah, yeah, and I have no other than that, there is no complaints about what he does. I've had zero complaints on the quality of his work. I mean, I've, in the years past, I've had other people that they were having all kinds of trouble playing ball. You know, but well, where do you, which way do you go? It just was a bad year for the students of Rock. No, I guess fun, more fun than that. Yeah, on, on to 422. So just to let you know, all these things you see down here, same thing. Those are all other articles or whatever are not part of this. No, I don't have anything to do with the salaries or um, wages or anything. That's dealt with the sort of mortgage. I don't have anything to make any changes to that as I'll come to you. Um, rentals. <laughs> the pillar this year. Uh, there's several several reasons in this that um, the crises were there. First, I've been asked by, because our grader was originally up for replacement this year. And I've been asked to check into this situation of renting instead of purchasing. Mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, if I rent, that comes out of my operating budget. Mm -hmm. And that's, I, last spring, I rented one for $6,100 for a month, which is what I would need to do. I can, as long as I can keep the other one going, so we have it for, Little things, you know, not not relying on it as far as getting our spring grading done. We're good for that. But since last year, the price now for renting a grader, if I can even get one from the place that I rented from, is now we're looking at seventy five hundred dollars per month. Um, I got a price from a Caterpillar dealer, and they were telling me that. $7,500 for a greater half our size. And I've been trying to get a price for one like the size we have. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we can't use a small, it doesn't make any sense to um, even try to use a small one. Um, our roads are difficult, hilly, mm -hmm. um, steep, steep hilly. Um, so that is the net rental price. Um, chipper rental. So the new work that we are going to have to take care of now. Um, I figured 10 weeks at $1,800 a week is what I got told for a price on the chipper rental. Um, Hey, Ron, just a quick question. Uh, sure. Will you rent this stuff? If they break, if it breaks down, is that is the repair cost on the uh, people you rent from? 
depends on what broke. If you get a, if you a tire, it's on me. It's um, and it depends on who you rent from, how much, what kind of things they are saying is normal use. And unfortunately, normal use is just about any kind of breakage there is, um, depending on who you are. It's a tough call. Rentals are not like they used to be 20 years ago where you rented something and something happened, they came and fixed it for you. Uh, rentals now, a lot of rentals now require you to do the normal maintenance. Like if an oil change comes up while you have it, that it's on you to do that maintenance, whether you've had it for 30 or 40 hours and that time comes up on the machine. It's so frustrating because you don't know what you're getting in, and then you've got to take the time to do the maintenance. You have to have to well, we have a garage now to do it. Yeah, but you, it's time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's money, it's it's money to put the materials. Right? Actually, and you probably need special equipment to change out some of the lower stuff. No, that's not. It's just the time. I mean, if you're if you're renting something, you expect to be able to rent, you know, use it for yeah. that time. It's frustrating. You know what these companies are doing to mm -hmm. um, make a lot of money I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the equipment isn't cheap to begin with. Mm -hmm. it, it makes it very difficult for renting when you have to figure these other options, you know, these other factors into it. There aren't a lot of other places. Not, there aren't a lot of rental options out in this area. You no. Know, <laughs> Especially for what we use. Sure. So the rentals is um thirty nine thousand dollars up from seventeen five. That's the chicker the um and the seventeen five that was. We had ten thousand dollars that we always figured for the boom, and then I always figured seventy five hundred dollars for an emergency, um, and which we use quite a few times. I mean, most years we use it. Uh, we had the situation on Delaware where we had to rent an excavator to take care of that. I mean, it's, it's just something that I have to have mm -hmm. hopefully. I don't go scrambling and something emergency comes up. So I kind of knocked that down to five grand just to have something there. Um, contracted services that stays the same. Materials, oh, that's another big one. Um, and basically, I took one item, the item that we use the most, the gravel. I mean, that went from $18 a yard to $29 a yard. We typically use five to 6,000 yards a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a Whoa. huge difference. Usually go up to the airfield, all straight, right? Yes. And they got bought out by a big company. No, all straight. I paid my driveway since I think it was about 25% because the source of the uh, and so down here was uh, went up to the company that brought out by the two bridge company. The Sunderland yeah. Gravel Pit on 116? Yeah. yeah. Cherry something or other? Yeah. yeah. Brought out. I know. Well, one of them, they have a local name, but it's not a local company. Well, the one in Northfield got bought out. And yeah. all kinds of issues up there. Yeah. 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 Oh, all They're the not cheap to operate. I'm pretty sure all states can get bought out. They're buying places. Um, or whatever. Um, yeah. it, but it's fuel power. I mean, it's what's driving 90% of what the cost of the material is, yeah. gravel product. It's all fuel to make, sure, make the product transport, transport it and all that. Um, fuel, there's so another There's no more roads being profiled. I mean, we got a good deal a couple of years ago. 2015 was the last profile. Yes, yep. that's not going to happen. 
most of them won't give them up anymore because that's still valuable. <laughs> um, the old is the other my other thorn is I was last year at saying under two dollars a gallon. This year I'm on right now I'm on um, market price. Yeah, how many cents over market price? But at one point it was four dollars and twenty five cents, something like that, for a gallon. Mm -hmm. and right now it's running right, roughly right around four dollars a gallon. Mm -hmm. We use we we bid fifteen thousand gallons a year. Um, between well, that's for all the highway police, uh, highway ambulance, and the fire. Mm -hmm. um, and they, um, not that they're a big user of it, but we typically are right around the 15,000 gallon mark a year of usage. This year, I'm going to guess the way things are going with snow and ice, that that's how we're going to go over. I, I I don't know what the magic ball says or what feels going to happen next year, but I don't really think we're we might see a little bit of a dip. But I personally, you know, the person that we deal with with our bidding is pretty much saying the same thing. It's not looking to go to Has Burkhog ever been approached about putting together like a massive? Uh... And you have all the time. Yes, they do. They, they do. We don't use it. No, they do do bidding for fuel, but we don't use them. We use lower Pioneer Valley. Um, I think the reason that we don't do them is because when you sign on to them, um, you can't then opt out if you don't like the truck. Yeah, yeah. And that that's the same thing with like why we don't do regional transportation with them because. When you say we're going to do it, then you're stuck with when the price comes in higher than what you would have got otherwise. So, so Ron's found somebody who does it for. I didn't find him. It's well, been here. That's who we had the contract with since I've been here. But they typically run thirty to fifty cents a gallon deeper from what Bergdahl gets for bids. Mm -hmm. um, so they're really good at. Doing the heating oil and the diesel fuel. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the lower Pioneer Valley collaborative. Oh, it has something to do with the school. Oh, okay. yeah, lower in Springfield. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we ever got hooked up with them. Because Burkhag has spread his tentacles all the way down there. <laughs> it's um, no, we're not with Burkhag. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, um, I don't know. I've watched their prices, what they get from the third dog. And it, it was one year that was like 70 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. Third dog's too much better quality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got it from a different rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a question? Yes, yeah, it should be 412. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Roy, you have any questions, comments, objections? No, I wish. Uh, I, I'm, you know, it's, I, um, it's just uh, leaves me speechless, really. And it's not. Uh, I mean, a lot of this is the, related to the cost of diesel fuel. I mean, as I think Ron said, and um, it's just it's it's had an enormous impact uh, throughout the economy. Um, <laughs> It's moderating a little bit at the moment, but I don't expect it to to moderate that much. So we're kind of stuck with it. I mean, the, the problem with your budget isn't your budget. It's the effect of town finances on the piddling growth rate. And, um, you know, when town revenue grows 1.9%, yeah. like it doesn't. The, they it, never grow when you're have, in a situation like this, so. right? And and um, you know the, your your budget, unfortunately, is like the, the principal driver of 
increased assessment to all the residents. Like, the, the, you know, you, this well, the school is not going to kill them. The schools are going to be the schools are going to be around three percent each, probably oh, somewhere cool. somewhere in there. Um, and that's because we've had enough warning that this is a brutal year that um, you know they're they're not making any requests for anything at all this year. So, but all I wish I won. But I mean, all you know, all, all the all, all the unions are just at two percent increases, um, and, uh, and well, we haven't added the cola in yet. I know that's, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole so, other thing. But so what services do you think I need to cut? So then, well, I'm see, I mean, that's 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 the hardest question to answer, and it's one you know, I, I, generally you don't want members of the public answering that question right. because right. like, because you're um, the expert. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 but at the same time, it's really, uh, it's un, it's unfair to be told to, to cut your budget when you presented your, the budget that you feel that you need. Um, well, well, I'm but, just trying to keep the same level of service. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that yeah. that's what might not be sustained. Like, you know, the, the, the word that I'm hearing from other towns is that, um, that they're talking about wage freezes, they're talking about layoffs, especially in the highway department. Um, and, and so that, that all that does is affect the level of service. Right. I mean, so at for the amount of miles that Conway has, that the highway department takes care of, if you start taking, and it's been hard because We've been down for so long trying to find somebody. If I stop doing the hours that I do above and beyond what I feel is my job I know. and let that person kind of help that situation and then you take that person back away, I'm not right. going to be willing to give the hours that I've been given. Right. I'm just saying. I mean, the, oh, the, the pay is not has nothing to do with pay here because what I get paid and actually what my guys get paid, they all can go to a private company and make a lot more money and get the same benefit. You know, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, town, town highway departments were a desired position. It wasn't because of pay, because the towns never really paid great money, but it was the benefit. Right. And the benefits now are not up to what the private world is offering because that's what they had to do to get the help. Um, so I'm thankful that I have the group that I have um, for what we're offering. Let me um, ask you about the grader, sorry. Yep. You said earlier that the one that was available to rent is too small. Is that the one that's 7500 a month? No, I said the one that the dealer gave me a price for. Well, so for purchase of the category? No, for the rental. All four of them, okay. I haven't got a rental price from them for the size of the unit. Okay, so we don't know that cost yet. Other than the, the other place that I rented from last sure. year. Okay. But I can't guarantee that they're going to have one. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's half the problem with renting is mm -hmm. not knowing if it's available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I talked to him a little while ago, I was asking about if I could reserve it for May, and they said, no, not at this point. It looks too early because if they find somebody that wants to rent it for three months, right. yeah. they're, they're not going to say, no, we're not going to, mm -hmm, because we got somebody that wants it for a month. Yeah, the other thing that's coming in is like you said, with the materials gravel. Mm -hmm. So that's a you're looking but that at in, it's in my budget. Thousand. I did not figure in any five other 5, increase in other materials. Yeah. Um, that's just that one product, which is a majority of my budget, but everything else has gone up too. So that's across the board, though. We shop around, everybody's just because it's of the costs. It is it's been. I don't. I'm, my hands are tied. Yeah, they're tied. So the, the the thing about your the book. So the for our budget, twenty five thousand dollars is one percent of our non school budget. Mm -hmm. And your your budget alone is 
four percent. It's four percent increase. In this so, one you know, highway and uh, oh. facility and, and building maintenance. Oh, okay. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's by itself is a four percent <laughs> increase. So what services do you want me not? To so I, I don't I don't have an answer for that question. But what I do know is that we all run a risk, and the the work the risk is that if you if if town meeting feels that it's not bearable, mm -hmm. they'll just lower the budget on the floor, mm -hmm. and then that's less that that's way more chaotic than oh, than yeah. doing it. Yeah, because yeah. they can line by line it. Right, and they will. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean line by? They can take every individual budget line item and it goes up and down. Yeah. yeah. And well, they can shift okay. monies around. And, and you know, it's like... It's chaos. It's chaos. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and Phil? Phil, yeah. let me ask you something. Has so our esteemed Commonwealth uh, offered any guidance? Because obviously all the towns are facing inflationary costs uh are they i mean th this is i mean do they have anything to say all, uh, all the towns are doing the math to see what their levy limit is yeah. um they're, they're they're seeing where the prop two and a half numbers at mm -hmm. and um and and they're juggling that with the, with you know the, the, what 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 can we do? You know, layoff or reduction in services. Mm -hmm. Just do you know for highway would we pay, do less fewer miles? You have to um, be care. You have to be careful with highway if you're going to reduce. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know it becomes life uh, threatening, and you never want it to become life threatening. So, and, I, I mean, and, and, and you have someone on the job that presented what they think is necessary in their professional opinion, right? And anybody, or I'll just speak for myself to say to say no, this X, Y, or Z is what we want to do. That that's just an, an uninformed, right. unknowledgeable. Uh, I mean, you know, but step, step back, step back for a minute. These increases, a, a huge amount, is the materials, right? Six fifty five. So and then the rest of it is in um, is in the is in um, let's see. I think on the rental. Yeah, that's yeah. the only yeah. thing that we can actually, as a committee, affect, and that is to try to push some of these rentals into purchases. Into purchases. But even that won't affect this year's budget, unfortunately. It won't affect this year's budget unless we can find a use one like that, which I don't. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and ultimately, it's not even really. It's not the justification. It's not the reasoning for the increases. It's just the fact that there's increases. Yep. Right. And people flip out. And, 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 and like, and, and you know, on paper, we look like we're this wealthy town that can afford all these things. The reality is, you know, which is true in one sense, but it's also true that we have record applications for heat for heat fuel assistance this year we have record numbers of conway families at food banks this year and people are struggling and i i get it all the time about you know just please 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 take it easy this year on the budget let us stay in this town we want to stay here we got it's up to you guys to let it let us afford to stay here but can i make a comment on that that's what i've been pretty much told every year yeah, right. <laughs> and if you look at what has been budgeted for my non-salary part of it mm -hmm. i haven't really changed it much so the only yeah. thing that's helped me out is um not having that employee and you using it at the year end to buy material mm -hmm. um so really if you keep telling departments not to raise the you know, keep your budget level funded. After a while, it becomes a point where you can't, and then it's huge when it happens, like yeah. this year. So the cherry sheets came out when there's a preliminary cherry sheet. There's two preliminaries, right? Mm -hmm. So far, because the um, the, the cherry the cherry sheet was like getting punched in the face. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah it really was. It was went down. Yes. Like my Fourth. Yes. Yeah, which is yeah, it's very frustrating. Yeah, it was uh, 
the governor that ran on increasing local aid. Well, it comes down to the formulation. Yeah. Yeah. And the reduction in school, the reduction in chapter 70. Yeah, yeah, both. Chapter like, 79 is disgusting. You don't know the message was for the election to keep state, to keep state, or the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the numbers have. We'll see what we can come up with and see what we can bear. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I don't know. This budget season, my least favorite of all the budgets. Oh, season. yes. <laughs> um, Beyond our control, absolutely. Monopolist, the monopolist, the other way. Hey, Ron, uh, did you go over your equipment just to, to complete the everything? You got 10,000 from your equipment. That's like um, chainsaws and yeah, small stuff. Yeah, it's only rent, but it's no, it's snow and ice. It's always snow and ice. <laughs> and I don't know, but that's that's also that's also a double digit percentage increase. Um, but here's the thing with that. You not saw I put them in that, <laughs> did that budget so that everybody could understand what could happen. Mm -hmm. That one is a budget that. Um, Veronique is saying, I mean, we've always been able to overexpend it if we have. Mm -hmm. I never have. Um, but we have to make an increase of some sort, right? Is that how that works? Yes. So um, we can't always over overspend what was budgeted. However, if we under budget, then we can't overspend. In other words, if we under budget from what it was the year before, well, it's, that's why we're I'm not in danger of that. No, no, but that is another reason it which just I thought you had to increase it by yeah. you don't no, I think you can level fund as long as it's not gone under is is my understanding. So I just put them numbers because that that's always been level funded. Actually it got decreased there a few years ago. Um because somebody was looking for some money extra money. Um where we got our this also like the lower finer value. We actually bid it through Burkhardt. The Burkhardt. They they are actually quite a bit cheaper than the state bid. So the the one thing that just occurred to me because of that is that when we get to Nick to FY twenty five, do we want to have that big a number in the snow and ice? Because then if we go less than that, you know. I, I put it in my budget for a realistic number for the way things are. Obviously, that's been level funded or pretty close to level funded since I've been here. Um, you put in for a 32% increase. Yep. Um, yeah. Well, what's, yeah. Diesel, <laughs> and diesel and salt, yeah. salt yeah. Yeah. $32 a month. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, but what, Phil? The other cost of like sand and what, the materials what? we use for sand. Well, you have a comment? Right? Well, I was going to say, I mean, for all of these, for the other, the prior budget as well, you can just put in for two thirds or half the amount of material and just run short and have to figure it out. But in terms of, um, in terms of uh, trying to, I mean. Uh, you can't you can't draw blood from stone. Let's let's face it. And I mean that includes the taxpayer. And I just don't see, I don't see an alternative to, you know, to uh, to salt, for example. I mean, in my own household, okay, heating oil went through the roof this year, so I started burning other th or using other fuels. But I don't think there's an alternative in some of this stuff. And if you want to present a budget that isn't going to like blow people away initially, put in for less material <laughs> and uh, and hope you need less material. But if you need more, then Ron has to has to come and ask for more or get or get it from another. Uh, I, it's just a suggestion. I don't know. 
We can't get it from anybody else because Massachusetts law requires us to procure it. Right, but so so Roy, if I understand what you're saying, um, basically this is one which which we can take the budget down because we can overspend it. So we could take it down to maybe you know five grand over last year. But then if it comes to it when we overspend it, we have to figure out where that money's coming from if if it gets to be a really bad season. Yeah. Well, I would personally prefer that it didn't go up much because if it, things do come back down, then you put yourself at risk of lowering the budget down in the following year mm -hmm. and then not be an over, over spend. Right. I don't think we want to be in that situation where we can't overspend our no one I have Bill, a question with our card, you know, so, so if, we, if we under budget and we have to go back and do we get penalized or anything for no there's no there's no limit um i put an estimate in of what for the usage mm -hmm. and there's if we don't use it it's not an issue i mean if we under if we have to go back and buy more you know, under the way the salt is bid, the way the salt gets bid is we have a primary and a secondary Oh, okay. Um, just because we've had issues in the past where the primary couldn't handle couldn't supply us. So they, and a lot of things have been happening that way with a lot of our bids. Now we have secondary bidding mm -hmm. that we can go to if we have to. Okay. And there's always state bid. We could always, if we had to, take it off state bid. Mm -hmm. It's available. So we know. It's it's a problem. I don't think there's any good answers. The other problem with snow and ice is the level of expectation that's been come. I mean, it's from when I first start, took over this position to what we have to do now is like all I can say is mass DOT is not helping small towns. Yeah. When you can do 60 miles an hour during a snowstorm, basically on 116, and they hit a town road. And first thing they do is call because they can't do their 60 miles an hour on them or whatever. It's frustrating. Salt is increasing by 46%. Beaver fuel by 18%. Beaver fuel is 100%. And the price increase is 100%. Well, if you go from 2 to $4, it's 100%. What's that? So, if we were to take this down to like five or ten thousand above FY twenty three, which would be better to cut fuel or salt? It doesn't matter because it's always the bottom line. I guess. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, And there is an option just to, to adjust your mix so that it's less effective and less salty, right? Or whatever. Well, when you use straight salt, it's a little hard to change the mixture. Oh, can't just be. Didn't we used to use more soil, like dirt? Oh, yes. Yeah. And there was always issues with the roads mm -hmm. and hard paths and stuff. It's not cheaper. Because then you got the. What never got accounted for in the winter budget was what you had to do with all that CN money. <clears throat> You're not putting in any increase for people? I didn't, only because so that the bottom line wouldn't be too much above this. So that if an FY25, we can't go under this amount. Right. I mean, I can adjust it any way you guys want. I'm just playing with it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think it just, everyone knows that. Fuel has gone up. I think to say that we're going to level fund diesel just as um, not. Well, well, let me back into it this way. How much do you want it to go above last year's budget? <laughs> I think you're saying take a dollar sand instead of the cell or the other. I mean, no. we typically, I mean, we don't even have to go above it, right? We no, technically, we we I do mean, not have to. I'm already it. right now operating on this year on for this. Fiscal year on the uh, 103 
thousand dollar budget. Well, if I've asked that the sole project and then closing the proposal to increase by 51.8 percent, 46 percent is increased for saw. I think maybe we can make some adjustments there. Well, I think what I think that your adjustments were in well, pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's just five thousand dollars above, and then we yeah, can still budget spend. more more for salt. Uh, your level plan on fuel, you're still your you know level plan on sand and, and other supplies. So I, I think that that's that's a reasonable approach if that's our goal. You just have to understand that at the end of the year, you could end up with a oh, even some money. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, and that's something we'll have to talk about when we get to the reserves. <laughs> yeah. So, at least it's the one thing that it's okay to, it's anticipated in right. a statutory scheme that, that's right. So, I have a question regarding contracts. So, how does it work? We pay the third cog and the third cog, is how does it in terms of the payment? Eight for. So I pay the contract. Yeah, you pay the contract directly with both the third card? No, all they do is our bidding. Mm -hmm. So how many, what time, what terms do we get from contract? How many days can you buy out of them? How many what? How many days, days can you buy out of them? Is it like net 30 and then 16? Yes. Net, net 30, 30. Net 30. Most everything is net 30. Net 30 days. I don't understand what that question is about. Well, if you go under, under budget, you know, you have to go scram around for money and go out of one page. Well, yeah, but I think we would know enough in advance that we could, you know, get the finance committee together or something and do a reserve fund transfer to cover it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But normally every year we have done, from what I've seen, it's $40,000 for a reserve fund transfer. I haven't seen it used a whole lot. So that would just be something to keep in mind. If we keep it at forty thousand dollars this year, then we're going to want to we'll not try not to use it for anything else. Yeah. And and there may be some other other places we can get the snow and ice as well. There's some monies that are going to be coming back. Um. Uh. At the at, you know September. Well, you can't get be, overspent without. Right. Um. In other words, we can pay the bills. You can pay the bill. <laughs> you just um. Obviously, the treasurer probably would have to do something for the funding, like she does for other, like Chapter ninety money and stuff like yeah. that. Well, we'll we'll just it's finding the source to pay it, but we can certainly pay the bills because we can overspend the account. But yeah. you know, <laughs> a few towns around that do like in May they do a special town meeting, but by yeah. then they typically yeah. know yeah. what the overspend is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. Probably <laughs> the first week in June. That's what do you think about the five thousand dollar Like I said, I put the numbers in there so that everybody was aware of what. Yeah. Um. I mean, it just, it just seems disingenuous to. I mean, like I get what you're saying that you don't want people to be dissecting this in town meeting, but it it it's, it feels a little bit disingenuous to say like. We're not, we have no increase in our diesel budget when everyone knows that that's. But they don't see that. They don't see They're not going to see this. Well, I, I, mean, guess, I, I guess Phil's point is that they could if we if we don't give them the number. It's that's, available to them, but it's not right. on the warrant. Right. right. It's not on the warrant. And, and you know, we could say, I mean, we could split it if you want. We could do 2,500 in each of those lines if that feels better. Yeah. I mean, and I, I understand what you mean. Yeah. It's, it's, it's splitting. Yeah, it's not nice we can move it around. But town meeting will only see um, well, the salaries is. and the expenses. You know, I got to say, I'm sorry I brought this up because it's really, it, it has a very bad appearance, if you will. It, it seems like we're trying to hide something, especially, you know, if it kind of then then they're going to be pointing fingers at who knows who, and I, I'm just I'm sorry I brought this up. I, 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 I think what, today, seven seven point eight percent, and we should at least at least raise it by that amount. No, we, that's that that metric is not our metric. Our our metric is right. our revenue went up one point nine percent. Like. That, I realize that, but you know, the price of materials is too. 
but on the snow and ice budget, if you raise it too much and then prices go back down, mm -hmm. you're stuck. You 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 ain't gonna want to lower that because that makes that budget right firm mm -hmm. for that year. And there are a lot of free cash. What's that? Well, a lot of free cash. Yeah. yeah. Right, but then it hamstrings us for the following fiscal right. year. Right, because then you right. you're, you're 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 stuck with that number and you can't over. Spend it without going to special town meeting before you do so. Quite a question. Can you talk to some of your, your Franklin County peers and ask them if they're doing it? It might be a good idea. Yeah. Does, the, does this look a little less disingenuous? To I bumped up them both by 2,500. Yeah, I mean, I know it's splitting hairs, but I just am not really comfortable with like the thing we're not spending. Any more on diesel fuel, you know, than we did this year. Other supplies and sand and stuff, that's all gone up. It's just that, yeah. and, you know, I mean, the whole budget is. Yeah. Yeah, the price yeah. of sand will continue. The worldwide shortage of sand. True. Yes. Really? Absolutely. What about the other side? Mm -hmm. Too many. A lot of construction in the parts of the world. Yeah, I guess it's there was forecast that we were going to be seeing the global climate change dividend in high rate in, in snow removal costs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't where I was asking that in California. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where they never see snow hard no. now and then get buried. <laughs> no, that's just some of the problems. Yeah. Um, We'll, we'll see what it looks like when we when when it when it gets all put together and when the schools come in and all that. But um, there's well, this makes you feel any better. We lowered it one percentage point tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we don't have a Kit one. <laughs> right, we still very much between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. So, and uh, well, the charity like the fair share. Sometimes the side of the place. And sit, you know, standing up there and say, "Here's our budget, everybody. It's a double-digit percentage increase from last year." But here's the thing: everybody knows. Everybody right now is paying crazy prices for heat. Right? And if that's happening, they got to know that everywhere else is an issue. I mean, it, it's not just because they're paying a high price for their heat doesn't mean that they can't. When the town needs to, uh, how they need to operate, that them prices aren't going to change too. I mean, it's very obvious what's going on out there. But I think the issue comes down to overrides in the Which, yeah, which the, we're the, not. Oh, hoping. we don't say the over. Right, right. right. <laughs> but I don't think we're, we're, we're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think we will be. We have a pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, there. And the, the communities that are there are already, it's because they're already structurally right at that spot. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that they can't absorb anything. Like, right. so we're, we're, we're like a year removed from that. So, yeah. um, but, but the town's always done a good job at, right. And, sure. and, and our, like we could point to last year where the total increase was $2,000 or less right. than one tenth of 1% mm -hmm. for our non schools budget. Um, because I didn't ask for any <laughs> which I should have last year. Well, they asked you, well, that's the way, isn't that the way, you know, in hindsight is 2020, right? Yeah. But, um, so, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate, you know, everything you've done and, and your willingness to take it on the chin, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Well, well, it sounds weird. Right. We need to have a free time meeting. Oh, I that would certainly be helpful. But you know, we, I mean, there's yeah, there's always a, a pre-town meeting. But but yeah, absolutely. We don't normally talk about Article Two. <laughs> Not normally. <laughs> but this might be the year. Let's get a little. I would think that a lot of towns might want a reporter reporter article about the, what we're facing, and a lot of people might not understand that we're paying paying more income tax, you know, but not just for wealthy. That uh, we're not getting that portion of money, but I think we have to that. I don't, the thing, you know, it's definitely not an exaggeration to say that um, 
of all of the aspects of Article Two of the town's budget, the this is the most volatile every year. It's and yes, it's, it like for sure. And, and and we can do all the we can all do all the pre-town meeting logic and the warrant light research and that we which is a great product. Um, but it's still some guy standing up, leaning up against the wall, saying, This is too much. I did that, da, 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 da. and the well, does that guy like want that? his road cloud? Does he want yeah, yeah you know, that's cause, cause not at that moment. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. Because it's held in June. <laughs> exactly. Well, we can set up a snowmobile rental. <laughs> But you know, we I don't. Would, I would rent one of those every year. <laughs> we, we Ridiculous thing to buy. A couple of weeks before we really have enough information to get more firm about those numbers. Yeah. 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 Schools are the mm -hmm. tail that wags the dog. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. No, it's no, yeah, yeah, no. Hey, Ron, you took us down a percentage point tonight. Well, <laughs> well you have any questions, comments? Yeah. No. I take it, boys. Uh, no, it's not as if it's peace. It's spoken as peace. He's regretting God. He's making <laughs> making travel plans for June sixth, <laughs> <laughs> which is good common sense, Roy. <laughs> well, I make a motion to adjourn the finance meeting. Yeah. Second. Thanks, Roy. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Yeah, you don't have to take that. I don't know what it's doing. Thanks for examining. Thank you. You can say what, what exactly? I don't know. I, don't know. Foot, I, I guess. guess. You got everything. You can't you show your bare foot. Right. And I got a privacy. It takes a lot to sleep around that. I'll even pull on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take yeah. my yeah. private. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Items not anticipated 48 hours. Town administrator update. Uh, it's a bunch of meetings that I went to. I don't have to go through them all for a minute. And they'll be posted. Select board member comments. Um, mail. We did get mail from, I wanted to, but this will be on the agenda for next time. TCR uh, is offering goodies to start a wood bank. Oh, wow. And they sent us a big thing. Well, I reached out to them when I saw that they're saying that they're offering goodies, grants and whatnot. So then maybe and, we don't have to rent a chair. We, well, no, we, Ron does not want. The, to yeah, do. because there is an additional hour. You know. Yeah. The the DCR research shown is that it's a hundred hours of of DPW time. Annually, or plus annually. the chippers for the small stuff anyway. Oh. Right. I mean, it's not, it can only take, what is it, 18 well, inches? You know? Yeah, and it's not just small stuff. It's um, a lot of the stuff that Ron's getting is dead disease. Yeah, 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 yeah stuff you're kind of using. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but so it would be great still. So we'll, 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 we'll talk about the DPW thing, but the, um, the, the no, I mean, the, uh, the ECR thing, they've got the, the state ECR employee would, would, do it would, would show up on Zoom and talk to us about it. Right, and help us figure to. out how to get it set up. Yeah. Uh, that way. But there's only one person in the state government that sets that up, and he's the guy. So we had a spring. Did he do that for leverage? Yeah. And, yes. And, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Betsy Potter was really interested in that. Issue. Yes, there actually was yeah, a, there actually a pretty large group of people that are really interested in that. Um, that seems to dovetail with the group of people with the group of people that <laughs> were really upset with. Highway. I think Ron would be happy with that because it would still show the need for mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. After having a little bit. Yeah. I think Ron should offer people to do like ride alongs, you know, like on the <laughs> except for the liability issue. I'm right there with you. But <laughs> <laughs>
but it hasn't signed a waiver. I mean, so we'll get an idea of like what that job entails, you know, like how much work there actually is. Yeah. You know, I think I think some people tend to they just don't appreciate like absolutely until what it is. And it's really, I, I will say on that note, it's been really nice to have Liz Huntley Field um, at, as his assistant because she's keeping up with like their highway Facebook page and stuff like that and trying to be more in the public eye about what's going on with things that Ron just has, he's been too busy doing his job right. to, yeah. <laughs> to do that. Yeah. So that's been really great to have her on board. So um, the next meeting, so we, down here is March 6th. That's 6 p.m. is the next select board meeting. March 7th at 6 p.m. is the Frontier Budget okay. hearing at the library and the high school in Deerfield. Oh, I'm sorry, what's 6 p.m.? So, I, so, I, so, I, so that will be thank you here for the select board meeting. I'll be flying back. So I just apologize, but I'll be here. I'm flying. Yes, nice. So the 7th will be noticed, it will be noticed on our uh, uh, as a select board meeting. And the eighth is the frontier budget vote. Do you want that one? Yeah, just as well. Might never know. That also isn't here for And then thirteenth is the grammar school. Yeah, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen, sixteen is the grammar school. But that's ten o'clock is too. Sixteen. Yeah. Shoot. Are you signing? I know. Shoot. <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Interesting. Wait. What? What time is? No, the, that's a problem. Is the budget meeting on the sixteenth? Six p.m. Oh, okay. That's a problem. That I'm telling problem. you, this, I think we should do it this time. You gave me a range of dates <laughs> <laughs> not to do the caucus. Seamus, your lips aren't even. Yeah. You said don't do the caucus anytime through like the third week of February. After no. that, you're good. And you were in my office when we picked that date and you said, yes, that and works. When I, said that, that, over. when I said that, that was the freshest available information at that time. Well, you know, then you need it to turn stale real quickly, though. But but could we do it? What time is the clock, is, Lori? Is it six? It's at six. Yes, but I change the time to seven for the caucus. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if we can change, because the whole school committee will be the, like. You can convince them to come down. Mm -hmm. Well, Elaine usually does, but she's the only one. Yeah. Um, if, if we can move the caucus to seven o'clock, that would solve the problem, though. Can't you move your meeting till the 15th? <laughs> uh, um, the Conway the, Grammar School cannot move their meeting now. <laughs> uh, those meetings are set months and months in advance because the getting down. Then, then, then you did know the date when we talked. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but yeah. seven. <laughs> Seamus, your logic is impeccable. As well, usual. all right. Well, if, if we're going to do that, then the warrant you signed is absolutely no good. Or we can cross it off and just. Uh, uh, I can down tomorrow. Yeah, can we do that, Lori? We sign tomorrow. Um. Well, except for the fact we got a big storm. We've got like eight to ten inches coming overnight. What, and uh, what, what's your deadline for the for the signature for the, for uh, the deadline for posting? I believe is da, 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 da. if they could if they could sign it by 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 I'd say Thursday. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I can do that. Then I can have Ron post them. I'm just not sure what's going to happen tomorrow with the storm coming in. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, and if I have to run around, I'm happy to do that. I just think it's it is important we change it to seven, just so. Well, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, you could white out the six and hand write in seven, and it would be fine. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to do that. Let's if, do that. that. If we're allowed, then it's done. <laughs> yeah. So you can't do it. Yeah, you can, you can. Yeah, and I'll just change where it is everywhere else electronically. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Not happy. 
I don't like being up that late. You and me both. We used to always start at eight o'clock in the, the caucus. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> And that's Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you.